Hello. Uh, today I would like to discuss with you uh, your final project. Um, I know we spent a lot of time, um, you know, towards, uh, you know, when we were at school, uh, you know, discussing the Beatles and analyzing songs. And since then, since we've done been doing the remote learning, um, we've been throwing out Beatles songs uh, there um, every single week for you to analyze. So you guys should be very familiar with uh, your song form now versus choruses, bridges, pre-choruses, and what have you. So today I would like to discuss what your final project is, and that is writing a song. So uh, what I did is I took a very famous song, um, Oh Susanna, and I kind of messed around with it just a little bit, um, kind of added some stuff to kind of show you what it is that I'm going to be looking for from you, for, from your original songs. So um, everybody's songs, uh, here's the minimum requirements. You don't have to write this down because I'm going to write it down for you. It's going to, you'll see, I'll have it written down for you, but just listen. Um, you have to have at least two verses, okay? And you need one chorus that obviously repeats and one bridge. And for the most part, I mean, I know uh, a lot of times in those Beatles songs, the bridges did repeat, but typically bridges don't repeat. So um, don't worry about um, uh, repeating your bridge. Just, just have that one time. And each section has four lines, okay? And uh, it's always good to rhyming. Uh, I mean, to rhyme your uh, words. Um, because it just makes it sound more musical. All right, so I'm going to play you my version of, of Oh Susanna, and this meets this would meet the minimum requirement. So you can base your song form off of this, or you can, if you have an idea of what you want to do, you can just do your own thing. <clears throat> So uh, what I did, just to break it down for you a little bit, is um, for my intro, uh, I did uh, basically the chorus without singing. But for your intro, since you don't um, have to submit anything recorded or anything you know that actually has music, you can just write intro and describe what it is. I mean, I've had people say intro guitar riff four times or something like that, or intro birds singing outdoors, or just describe it anyway. And um, I used the regular first verse. I came into the first verse. Oh, Susanna. I came from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. It rained all night the day I left. The weather, it was dry. The sun's so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. 
All right, so that's your four lines right there. Now, I had, I don't know if you noticed, but I had to manipulate the chorus a little bit. I repeated the chorus twice because the, the chorus actually is only two lines. So it's, oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I came from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. So what I did to get those four lines is I just repeated that again. And you can do something similar. Um, with the, with your with your own chorus, so I just did the chorus twice, so it ended up being four lines. All right, and then I came into the second verse. Okay, I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna a coming down the hill. The buckwheat cake was in her mouth, a tear was in her eye. Says I'm coming from the south, Susanna, don't you cry. So once again, there's four more lines, and notice the rhyming words, a lot of rhyming words. Then I went back into the the double chorus again, which made it. Um, you know, four lines. And then I went to the bridge. Now, the bridge I, I just made up on my own. The, as far as I know, Su Oh Susanna does not have a bridge. But I just wanted to throw that one in there because you need to put one in yours as well. And all I did is I just took the same line and I repeated it four times. Right all night just to see my love. Right all night just to see my love. Right all night just to see my love. See what I did there? Just the same four four lines. Okay, and uh, and notice I made the, the my bridge much different than the verse and the chorus, which is also every bridge should be. It doesn't it doesn't have the same melody. It doesn't have the same rhythm. It's definitely separate. And then what I did um, instead of coming up with a brand new verse because you only have to have two verses, I repeated the first verse. Very common um, songwriting technique. It happens all the time. Um, and then I came into a regular chorus. At the end, you know, once again, well, it's a double chorus, right? Um, so it makes it the four lines. At the end, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I instead of using the chorus for my outro, I just did the verse for my outro. So there it is. So once again, um, you guys, all you have to do is just, just write this stuff out. And when you're writing it, write uh, intro, if you're going to use an intro, you don't have to use an intro, but just write intro, describe it. What is it set? What's it going to sound like? Birds chirping, alarm clocks ringing. What is it? Um, your, your first verse, write all four lines. Chorus, four lines. Verse, another verse, four lines. Your bridge, four lines. And it doesn't have to be anything super, super fancy. All right. And please email me your finished um, projects. Um, a, you can find my email address and when you go into where the links for all the special is it says office hours okay if you go into that link right there my email address is right is right there so once again good luck on this and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your projects if you'd like to record it you can you can submit a recording if you want um, you don't have to though but uh, I have had a lot of people in the past submit actual recordings like garage band recordings or even videos so please keep all that in mind all right, good luck and please have fun with it because I have fun with it all the time. I write songs all the time. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.